I'm Amrita Priyadarshini. Welcome to FBC News. The credibility of the Constitutional Commission has been questioned by Paramount Chief of Rewa. The consultation process continued in Nosori today. Dev Narayan was there. In his submission today, Ro Felipe says the commission is made up of only those who are linked to the government. This, he says, is by way of university links, members of the NCBVF or those who have been government beneficiaries. Our trust in the Constitution Commission is lacking. In addition and worse, the current government does not have any confidence in its own legitimacy. It recognizes this and is seeking immunity as a result. He says it is said to note that there is no independent indigenous rights expert. This is a major weakness given that indigenous regions comprise nearly over 60 percent of British population and own 80 percent of the land. The chief goes on to say that the guiding principles seem to imply that indigenous human rights are racist. Ethnic voting and discrimination must be clarified. The right to elect our own indigenous representative into parliament, i.e. Fijian communal seat, is a recognized human right in the declaration. Affirmative action must not be classified as discrimination. He has also questioned the legitimacy of the Constituent Assembly. Dev Narayan, FBC News. The National Fire Authority is working at fully equipping firefighters to better respond to emergencies. Eleanor Turangai View has more. A tender was put out last year by the authority for much needed equipment. Talks are now being held to purchase new breathing apparatus for our firemen and women. I know we tended for breathing apparatus and we are moving ahead in uh, discussing with the suppliers. Eh? We, want, we tended for compressors. We want to be able to recharge our own uh, uh, breathing apparatus in NFA. NFA has two of these 12,000 litre giant, the biggest in its arsenal. It will soon be joined by more. The process now is going on for purchase of fire trucks. Eh? And uh, it's a part of our strategy to build capacity um, so that we can respond effectively to property fires. Eh? And with the only turntable ladder fire truck damaged, the authority needs another one. The truck is identified uh, by NFA as one of the major risks because of uh, the building capacity and everything in Subway. So that's the one of the priority areas we want to make sure that by the end of this year or well, next year we can have a ladder truck that will be able to respond to uh, high building uh, fires. Eh? The target is to get the equipment in by the end of the year. Eleanor Turangaibu, FBC News. The Crest Agriculture Show has ended and the climax to the week-long event was last night's awards. Farmers from various sectors were recognized for their work in helping the industry grow. Christopher Chant reports. The show is held each year to encourage farmers, increase local production, and more importantly, to reduce the millions that are spent on imports. A country as fertile as Fiji must increase its agricultural productivity for its economic development and the well-being of all its citizens. In this regard, the Indonesian government continues to lend its unwavering support to Fiji's agriculture sector. Food security is a concern for the future. Being self-sufficient will ensure we have enough food for the country and a chance to increase exports. Initiatives like the Crest Agricultural Show form an important strategy to encourage Fiji to become self-sufficient in feeding itself, enhancing its capability and improving our ability to grow our own food. The night though belonged to Isaiah Nadolaliku. He won the prestigious Farmer of the Year Award. Christopher Chan, FBC News.